One day, the angel of the Lord came to a man named Gideon, who was working hard on his family's farm. The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Go save God's people from their enemy. But Gideon hesitated. My family is the weakest in our tribe, and I am the weakest in our family. Gideon, the Lord will be with you. So, after talking some more with the angel, Gideon believed God and agreed to do what the angel had told him. Before long, Gideon had gathered up a great army. But when God saw it, he said, You have too many men. I don't want the Israelites to brag that they saved themselves. So God told Gideon to make an announcement. Any man who is afraid of the enemy may go home. And thousands of them did just that. But then God told Gideon he still had too many men. Take the men down to the water to drink. Keep only those men who use their hands to bring water to their mouths. Most of the men carelessly tossed their weapons on the ground and put their faces right into the water. Only 300 soldiers drank the way God wanted. So this was Gideon's army. Next, God gave Gideon very strange instructions. Each man is to take a trumpet, a jar, and a torch. Later, in the dark of night, Gideon's men surrounded the camp while the enemy was sleeping. When everyone was in position, they shouted, The sword of the Lord has Gideon! The sword of the Lord has Then they blew their trumpets and smashed their pots, so the fire from their torches circled the enemy. But each of Gideon's men stayed in their place. Down in the valley, the enemy soldiers woke up and were so scared that they began fighting one another. With great noise and confusion, the enemy soldiers all ran away. And that is how God used Gideon to save his people from their enemies.